In this video, I'd like to discuss and demonstrate the audit archiving feature that we have in the Jasper Report Server. There is a previously created video titled Enabling Audit Logging on Jasper Report Server, and I recommend that the video be viewed first before continuing on with this video. The documentation is in the Administration Guide, section 9.4.2. These are some of the use cases where modifying the audit archiving option is necessary. Keeping only a certain number of days audit data, archiving or purging old data, keeping audit tables from growing too large, and setting the time and frequency of the archive and purge. I've now opened up a database query tool and I want to show you the tables involved with the auditing. By default, the auditing system is disabled. But when it's enabled, then there will be events and properties captured in the JI audit event and JI audit event property tables. When the audit archiving feature is triggered, then the data that corresponds to the conditions of the audit archiving is then moved to the JI Audit Event Archive and JI Audit Event Property Archive tables. These tables were empty out of the box. The configuration file to make changes to the default audit archive options is under the Jasper Server dash pro slash web dash inf directory and the name of the file is the application context dash audit.xml. As you can see uh, that I've moved to the relevant section, the bin ID of audit servers, where there is two where there are two properties, the max audit event age to archive and the max audit event age. The default values for these two properties are 30 and 0 respectively. So 30 is the uh, number of days to keep the audit data in the table and it will archive the rest. And zero means it doesn't do any deletion. But if you want to delete the data, then you set the number of days that you want to keep and it will push the rest. And further down in this configuration file, uh, you can also uh, modify the this particular section under the enabled events mapping. You can comment out any of these entries so that they don't uh, get captured in the, in the database tables. By default, everything is uh, captured in all events and all properties. And uh, lastly, further up, uh, we have default cron uh, expressions or cron settings, which determines the frequency of the archive and the purge. And you would first need to understand how to interpret the cron expression. And a good place is in the Quartz documentation where there is a table under format that will explain what each one of these fields means. So going back to the configuration, uh, this quant expression means that uh, it will run every day at 5 a.m. to do the archive, and this one will run at 3 a.m. to do the purge. So for a quick demo, I'd like to uh, change the frequency of the audit event archive to run in 10 minutes time. Currently it's 2 p.m. So if I set the current expression and change it from 5 to 14 for 2 p.m. in 10 minutes, and save this file, followed by restart of the Tomcat server, And we'll see whether the audit data is being archived to the audit tables. So I'll pause here for a few minutes. So just reverting back to the database query tool, I just want to show you what's currently in the JI audit event, in JI audit event property table. So I've ordered by the event date. 
and uh, the date is 2019320. Okay, so the time now is 2.11 and I've set the current expression to run the archive at 2.10. Well, I have queried the JI audit event table and now it has changed. The data has now been moved to the archive table. And it's only keeping the last 30 days worth of data in the JI audit event table. And that's the end of the demonstration. So hopefully this video is useful uh, in knowing where and how to configure the settings for the audit archive. And thank you for watching my video.